In this demo, I'll show you how to register an app in Azure Portal step by step. The steps are very simple and self explanatory. If you just follow the demo, you can do it yourself. Log in to Microsoft Azure Portal. In the search box, enter the text app registration. The app registration page opens. You can see here all your previously created app registrations. Click on the new registration link. Name your app registration. Select the first radio button, that is, accounts in this organizational directory only, single tenant. Rest all parameters are optional. Click on the register button. The app has been registered, and you can see your app details from the overview page. Here, the value of application, client, ID is very important. You need to copy this to your notepad. This is needed for your client application authentication. You need to configure this value along with the secret value. I'll show you in seconds how to get that. Click on the Certificates and Secrets menu. Then, click on the New Client Secret link. Describe your client secret. Select the recommended expiration duration. Click on the Add button. Now, copy the value. Be aware that you can't copy this if you are out of this screen. So, you must copy right after adding the client secret. Otherwise, you need to create another client secret. You need to map this value with your application, client, ID from your client application. For example, from your client application, you need to pass these values, like below. Application, client, ID. The application, client, ID value you have copied from the overview page. Client secret. The client secret value you have copied now from the certificates and secret screen. Now, let's configure the API permissions. Click on the Microsoft Graph. Then, click on the delegated permissions. You can add your needed API permissions here. For this demo, I am adding here a couple of SharePoint Online related API permissions. For you, it might be a different requirement. Click on the Grant Admin Consent. My needed API permissions have been added successfully. Now, let's configure the expose an API. For the application ID URI, click on the add link. The URI is auto generated. Then, save it. 
That's done. Now, let's add a scope. Pass the scope name. Admin consent display name. An admin consent description. Click on the add scope button. That's it. I am done with my app registration configuration in Azure Portal. Thanks for watching this video. If it helps you, Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.